the paradox of the Muslim. We are asking the non-Muslim if they don't know anything about Islam, don't say anything or go to learn. Now, where they want to learn? The thing is that people get true phobia of engaging with each other, you know, because of too much of uh, preconceived notions that we have. That, that's why we try. I know, I used to be a non-Muslim. I know that how difficult for a non-Muslim to go to a mosque, to a surah. How were you before? I was a Buddhist. Yeah, I was a Buddhist, but of course, mix up, lah, right? It's like uh, the, the paradox of the Muslim. I say, we are asking the non-Muslim if they don't know anything about Islam, don't say anything or go to learn. Now, where they want to learn? I said, where you want them to learn? If they go to internet, you say, you cannot trust internet. <laughs> come to us. Now, if you come to us, how many Muslims ready? I'm not bashing Muslim here, but it just said, we just have to be more open. Yeah. Islam didn't ask you to be like, confined to your own space, among yourself, engaging with people. And say, okay, so now we come to a neutral place yeah. where everybody is free to walk out. Yeah. If you don't like the conversation, okay, no problem, see you again, bro. But most of the people that we engage with, Good lah, alhamdulillah, all praise to God that we always exchange our phone numbers and then we keep in touch. Still not Muslim, we're still Muslim. We come out for a drink and that's it. Why not, right? Why not? You see, faith is a matter of, you know, how much you believe in it. Yeah. And how much you want to accept it. After you have shared, after I have shared, and then you think about it because ultimately, one day, us, we're going to pass away. You know, as someone who believes in God, we know that we're going to meet God. As long as you know, okay, I done my part. This is the best that I can do in this world. That's how it's supposed to be. <laughs>